Fellow tennis nerds, I'm here with another shoe review, this time of the Adidas Cybersonic. It's called Adidas Adicero Cybersonic, but these names are so long these days, so trying to shorten them as much as possible so you can remember what it's called. Uh, so this one is a more explosive, light, fast-feeling shoe than, for example, the Barricade, which is very heavy, very durable, sturdy. Uh, I've always struggled with the fit of Adidas shoes. They, they clamp down on my foot a bit too snug. And this one is also relatively tight. It requires a slight break in. It's not a heavy shoe. So once on, you feel like you can move pretty fast. You can be pretty explosive in your movements. Sorry for the screams in the background. There's a lot of tennis and puddle being played here. Uh, so you can be explosive, you can move. And you feel like this, these shoes respond well to kind of dynamic footwork. My knees are usually the best reviewer of rackets when it comes to the comfort and cushioning of the shoe and that's something I, I miss a little bit from Adidas shoes in general. May, I haven't tried them all of course but, but the cushioning here is not as good as it could be in my opinion. I mean it's a light shoe so usually you see that there's a trade-off always so you have to reduce material and this one has kind of this kind of energy feeling to it with this new technology here which actually gives you a little bit of a spring in your step you feel fast with these and that's for the fast mover without any knee problems uh, and who like the, the feel and like the, the snug tight fit of many adidas shoes i think you really enjoy this my buddy dennis he really liked these he bought them for himself and he really enjoys the shoes he has pretty medium foot and, uh, but I feel like they clamp down on, on my foot a little bit and don't feel super comfortable. They get better after eight to 10 hours of play. So the break-in period is always there with, with most Adidas shoes. Uh, after that, they, they play nicely, but I, I like a little bit of cushioning. I play with the Babla Pro Pulse Fury 3, and I like those a little bit more from a cushioning point of view. Uh, but otherwise, this is a good shoe. I like the shoe. Quick sponsor break, check out my friends at Fuzzy Yellow Balls. They have released this singles playbook which teaches you strategy, ways to defeat opponents, patterns of play against pushers, counter punches, baseliners, serving volleyers, and so on. Each chapter in this playbook is accompanied online by a video so you get really immersive instruction. And this is a way for you to improve your tennis, your understanding of the game and to win more points. Check it out, the link is in the description, uh, but it just needs to be for the right person. As you can see in the specifications and the details of the shoe, you need to figure it out. And it's not easy with tennis shoes because you can't really demo them, right? So you have to buy them on a whim and hopefully uh, through reviews, understanding content of it's a shoe for you or not, you can figure it out. But uh, yeah, I like the shoe. It's not quite for me. It's a good, nice, explosive shoe. It feels very durable. Uh, they have the added top recycled. Uh, they do seem to put a lot of like focus on saving the world or whatever you want to call it. It's called end plastic waste, says here. So they, I think they're making some efforts. As with all these big companies, you never know how much is actually true and how much is marketing. Pretty snug, tight fit. I would say average width and length of the shoe. Uh, so nothing like if you have super wide feet, this is probably not for you. Super narrow feet, probably a little bit better because they, they do clamp down on you a little bit. Uh, so this is for you who like that snug fit. And if you do, and you want an explosive shoe uh, that can you know, help you move aggressively around the court, this one is worth a look. And they look pretty cool. I like the look of them. They're, that's it. The price is a little bit high, but that seems to be most shoes are going up in price. So we can't talk about that anymore. I, I think it was listed at 179 bucks, dollars, euros. And uh, yeah, that's a lot for a shoe, but uh, if they are durable, it's a little bit more worth the investment than some shoes that break quickly. Uh, and if you like Adidas shoes, I think the Cybersonic, I definitely think it's a much better shoe than the, the Barricade. That's all for this review. I hope you found it useful. Let me know in the comments below. I also have a racket course, a new app for elevating your tennis. Check it out. The links are in the description. That's all for today. I hope you liked the video. Have a nice day and don't forget to play some tennis.